All right, guys, it's kind of hard to show you, but you can see straight down there, there's a wire laying right across the heat shield for the exhaust manifold. Um, that is one of the cylinders we're having a problem with. All right, guys, this is on the driver's side, and here's another wire laying straight on the exhaust manifold, and you can see right by where it's factory riveted, it looks like there's a crack. We'll show you a little bit better once we actually get it apart and uh, get a better look at it. Also, uh, this cylinder one right here, the customer, um, they put a spark plug in and broke the first one, and they have concerns that they broke the second one going in. So we're going to so have to check that out. Of their work. Yeah. So we're going to check that out, see what that's all about. All right, guys. Yeah. So this isn't a bashing video. This is a video to help you guys out. If you're going to work on your vehicles at home, put stuff back where it belongs. The manufacturer did it for a reason. So please, please just put it back the exact same way you got it. Because this vehicle came with a bunch of problems. It had over a thousand misfires within minutes of it running in here, having the diagnostic stuff hooked up. It ran like crap. And the owner did a lot of work to it. He did a tune-up and stuff on it, put an intake on it, stuff like that. But please, and I'll show you why in a second, if there's wire holders, use them. If you broke them, get other ones. You don't have to get the exact same ones, but get them at the auto parts use store. Zip use work. zip ties. Use whatever. But keep that stuff away from heat. Wires cannot handle heat. They cannot lay right on manifolds, which in this case they did. And I'm going to show you why. So this, you can see all that white. That's where it was laying against. Look at that huge crack. Now, he just did this tune-up not long ago. And let me see if I can find, yeah, on the wire, look, it's all burned. I mean, that's eventually going to go through, guys. And there's a couple of them like that. And then there's also this thing. Look at this. I don't know how this happened. I don't know if this is a factory defect or what. But that that is an issue i don't know if he did that or whatever so please guys look over your stuff even if it's new new stands for never ever worked just remember that and you'll save yourself a lot of headaches but this wire as well is you can see you know it's burned again I, i'm not trying to bash on anyone i'm just trying to help you guys out there please the manufacturer put it that way put it back that way because I don't know how much he spent I don't know you know he bought plugs he bought wires he bought a cap and rotor and a cap and rotor were okay um, but he also put in a, a plug that was broken and had to go replace it he had to go replace it because he broke it um, which I mean it is very tight I understand it, it's very tight and he did the right thing he didn't try to run it he just went and got another one replaced it but he used Bosch spark plugs as well. Guys, don't use Bosch spark plugs. They're junk, maybe in a Volkswagen, but that's about it. Bosch spark plugs, I've been selling parts for the better half of my life, which is over 15 years I've been selling parts. And Bosch does not work. Don't buy it, don't buy into the Platinum 4 crap. Don't do nothing. Buy Autolite, NGK. If you got a Ford, buy Motorcraft. But just don't buy Bosch. Um, so that was another problem with this thing why it was running like that. It had Bosch plugs in it. And I've gotten a lot of complaints of guys, you know, different auto parts stores selling them Bosch plugs and they come back and it doesn't work. So it's not just my opinion, it is fact. I've seen it happen over and over again. So my point is guys, I don't know how much he paid, but I know we bought him at AutoZone and just the plugs, the proper plugs, double platinums, and the wires that was something like 80 or 100 bucks at AutoZone. So let's just go with the lower number. If he paid $80, right? Now we just had to replace that stuff because he did an improper install. You could have brought it here and it would have cost you less in labor than $80 for us to fix that. Or for us to do, you know, plugs and wires on it. So what did you really save there, guys? That's what I'm trying to get at. You got to look at how much you can save, how much you can mess up. So I hope this helped you guys. Just use, if you're gonna do a tune-up, just put it back the way the manufacturer had it, that's all. That's all. So 
I hope we see you on another video. I hope you like this one. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you check out the decals down below on the eBay and Etsy store. And we'll catch you later, guys. Thanks for watching.